everybody today. I'm in Interlaken, beautiful small little town in the Bernese Oberland, and we're going to check that out. Welcome to my little walking tour through Interlaken. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I provide some useful information and travel tips. Interlaken literally means between lakes and refers to the geographic location of the town between Lake Breens in the east and Lake Thun in the west. It is part of the canton of Bern, the Swiss capital, in the Bernese Highlands region of the Swiss Alps. And it is the main gateway to the mountains and lakes of that region. Among the main attractions of that region are the mountains of Jungfrau at 41,5800 meters or 13,640 feet, the Mönch at 4107 meters and the Eiger at 3967 meters. Whilst the peaks of those mountains are only accessible for serious mountaineers, a sequence of connecting mountain railways gives access to the Jungfrau Joch, which is a saddle between the Jungfrau and the Mönch and the highest point in Europe reachable by train. Make sure you also check out my other videos on my visits to the Jungfrau, the beautiful villages of Grindelwald, Lauterbrunnen, Mörn and Gimmelwald. The Lütchen River, which comes down from those mountains, flows directly into Lake Breens, while the River Aare flows through Interlaken from one to the other lake. Today Interlaken has a population of 5600. Most people in Interlaken speak Swiss German, but you won't have any problems getting around with English. Directly above Interlaken you can go up to the Harder Kulm, which is about 1300 meters or 4300 feet high. It's just to the north of the town, while the Schinige Platte, which is about 2000 meters high or 64,000 feet high, is just to the south. Both are accessible by railway and provide great views of the high mountains and the two lakes to the east and the west. But let's continue with a tour through the town of Interlaken.
At the center, the Höhematte Park is really hard to miss. It's a big green field just in front of the iconic Victoria Jungfrau Granite Tower. At the Höhematte Park, you can also book paragliding tandem flights and other recreational activities like mountain bikes. Just behind that hotel you will see the beautiful Korsal Interlaken which dates back to the early last century. Today it houses a conference center and a casino. The flower beads and the garden around it are just really beautiful. Past the Höhematte you enter the shopping streets of Interlaken, which are situated in a nice pedestrian zone.
an eighth. If you continue down that road, take a right towards the Aare River. This takes you to the old town of Winterlaken with its many beautiful restorated buildings and grand hotels. Make sure you take a stroll along the Ara River to watch the swans and ducks diving for food and cleaning their feathers. Interlaken has a large selection of hotels of various grades, many of which are located along the Hörerweg, a street that links the town's two railway stations and offers views of the mountains. Other hotels are clustered around one of the two stations, or they're located across the river in the neighboring municipality of Untersen. While many of the hotels are five-star establishments, 
Interlaken is also a destination for backpackers. It has several backpacker-friendly hotels and companies providing guided services in skydiving, canyoning, hang gliding, paragliding, and skiing. Interlaken's reputation as an international resort town dates back to 1820, when tourists started to come for mountain air and spa treatments, and the large Corsal venue opened in 1859 to provide an elegant spa. The many hotels combined with good transportation links made it easy for these early tourists to visit. In the 1830s, steamship routes opened along Lake Thun and Lake Greens. In the late 19th century, railway links to Thun, Bern and later to Lucerne were established and in 1890 the Berner Oberland Railway connected Interlaken to the tourist destinations of Lauterbrunnen and Grindelwald. Definitely check out my videos on my train trips there. But Interlaken is much older than that. Already in 1133 a monastery was built on imperial land on the left side of the Aare. The monastery controlled a bridge over the river and generated an income from tolls. The village of Interlaken developed around it. Back then it went by the name of Armühle, named after the mill situated at the river Aare. Interlaken is such a nice little town. Definitely check it out when you're here in the region. It's a great entry point for all the mountains around the Eiger, Mönche, Jungfrau region. I love the architecture here. It's so beautiful. This is a rather old and traditional town for tourism and uh, spa and you can feel the rich history of this place. If you travel to Interlaken you will likely come either by train or by car. Interlaken has two railway stations, Interlaken Ost and Interlaken West, which are both served by the BLS Thunersee line that provides direct services to Speeds, Thun, Bern and beyond with onward connections at Bern to the rest of Switzerland and of course in the national services to Paris, Frankfurt and Berlin. The Berner Oberland Railway also operates from Ost Station, providing the first stage of several mountain railway routes into the Jungfrau region and most notably to Europe's highest station at the Jungfrau Joch. Like in most, if not all parts of Switzerland, local and regional bus services are provided by the Postbus Switzerland, so you don't really need a car to get around. Hope you enjoyed this little walking tour of Interlaken. If you did, please uh, also check out my other videos in Switzerland and uh, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't done so yet, uh, please also subscribe to my channel and we we'll see each other in the next video. Have a good one. Bye bye.